night there. Mm. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> Jesus. All right, let's get the truck and check the pipeline. Oh, let's take the day off. Come on, it's almost winter. We're going to be stuck inside for the next six months. You're a bad influence. I thought you liked that about me. Hey, Eric, look at this. Yeah, this one's pretty bad. Hope this damn thing's still under warranty, huh? He's beautiful. Damn trapper might still be around. Saw fresh tire tracks on the way in. They're probably down by the river. Yeah, got it. idea. It's my job to keep these idiots out of here, remember? Two counts against you. Trespassing on restricted land and trapping out of season. That's so? Yeah. I'm in charge of conservation on company property. Ain't worth it, Ben. Look, it's real simple. I got your plate number here and you're poaching. Hey, Ben, you don't want me to drop this guy?
Okay. If you leave and don't come back, I'll let you go this time. Never do that again. All this fucking land and we're locked out. Makes me puke. Drawing about it won't change anything. I mean, there's 75 million acres in this state, you know? I'm real sick of running into people. Well, don't look up ahead then. Fuck. Look at this. Who the fuck are these clowns? They're shooting fish. Jeez. How are you doing? All right. Got some of that coffee left? Fresh out. Looks like you guys had some luck. Where's your guy? We're on our own. You did real good. Yeah, no shit. They're way over their limit. My partner's right. We need a licensed guide around here. <laughs> we paid for all our permits. Hey, you guys better drive on out of here. Seems to be my day for being told what to do. <laughs> According to tribal law, hunters who'd pass through the land of another tribe can take some game, eat the meat, but they have to surrender the hides. You always want the meat? You know what, Ben? I think we should kill all these stupid fuckers, bury them in their shiny new truck. Huh? Oh! Blood's gonna attract the bears. Better put them in your truck. Let's go. No. I don't believe in leaving witnesses behind, Ben. Self-defense. Let's just leave it at that. Yeah, right. You think these fucks are going to tell it that way? Yeah. It's going to give us a head start. What are you looking at? Huh? What are you looking at? You think I'm pretty? Is that it? Now you're going to forget how we look. Because next time, they're not going to stop me from killing you. I'll slit your fucking throat. You understand? <clears throat> this land, it ain't civilized, you know? <clears throat> you stupid <clears throat> fuck. At least he scalped the dead one. <clears throat> Sam, got a couple extra tickets for the mine that you have them at a discount. Two for one. Why the hell are you trying to sell me tickets to that damn mine? You don't even know. Hello, Sam. Ben, boy. How's it going? Things pretty slow today. Yeah, real quiet. I like to keep it that way. Just passing through. Good. Can I take a look at this? I think it needs patching. Ah, oh, God. The heel came off. 
Not gonna be easy. 25 bucks. You sure as hell learned to worship the white man's god. It's the American way. <laughs> I need some razor blades, too. Howdy, Earl. Hey, Leo. Uh, I hope I can count on you gentlemen to vote for the people's friend. boys are crazy. <laughs> That's right, Leo. When one of them damn flyers comes loose, I shoot you for littering. Now don't bark at me, Sam. You know I'm not running for office for my health. I'm running for the health of Alaska, the health of America. I'm running to help assure us of a, of a responsible energy policy. You know how much you boys pay for a gallon of gas. Put a I park can... in it, Leo. All right, all right, Sam. No more speeches. <laughs> Just remember, come election day, the people's friend. People's friend, my lily white butt. See you around, Earl. Bye, Leo. Damn, more company candidate running on that slogan makes about as much sense as a rat fucking a grapefruit. <laughs> you invite the marshal for a meal? <laughs> oh, I better stay at my post. Even without the booze riling them up, you know how mean spirited folks get when they smell winter coming. Looks like you were right about that weather turning. Couldn't exactly give him a lift, given the situation. Yeah, well, at least he didn't kill all of them. Hey, fuck you, Mitchell, all right? Yeah, fuck you! Would have been my ass if Ben didn't waste that prick. Why don't you guys split? I'll wait for my brother. I'll meet you in cash. so early in the season. He was being a hero, chasing poachers. Well, he's turned into quite a cowboy, isn't he? That's stupid. I wasn't trying to be a hero. Hi, right, Sunshine. Hi, Sam. How are I'm, you? I'm good. How are you? Listen, today he starts thinking that he deserves you. Maybe I don't deserve him. Oh, hell, his mother didn't deserve him. <laughs> So you're going to have to work on him harder, otherwise you two will never get married. Hey, I'm a pretty good catch. Huh? I'm charming, presentable. I live in a mansion. I call it the turtle, like living with your home on your back. <laughs> hey, she cute. I bet you haven't eaten yet. Hey, I bet you're right. But listen, I swear I didn't come out here to wrangle another meal out of you. I swear to God, I didn't. I yeah, didn't. you did. What do you have? We copy. 5031. This is Eric Desmond, Polar Mobile. Over. Mr. Desmond, Arthur Neff here. Uh, Mr. Marling asked me to call. There's black and white smoke coming from Company Land, north by northwest of town. Over. Yeah, that's probably an SOS. We copy, Neff. How in the hell can there always be an SOS? 5031, Polar You know what the odds that happening are? Fire, come sit in the car and freeze to death. It's not even winning yet, Sam. Uh, they probably didn't even know what was happening. The question is why they sat here when the storm was moving in. Hmm, what's that? Uh, 
here. Look at that. Somebody shut up the damn car. This hand. Certain son of a bitch bastard with a heel missing from his boot by the name of Ben Corbett, that's who. Look at that. Not the footprint clears an autograph. And this is nasty even for Ben Corbett. Sitting in Devil's Cauldron when I left, calm as could be. Then you can just go and arrest him. And it's not going to be that easy. There's going to be trouble. Well, you can get some guys in town to back you up, right? <laughs> hey, one man would lift a finger on this. You see now they are. Carpet don't know you. to bring you these. I didn't expect we'd already met. Oh, no big deal. You just got off on the wrong foot. What's your name? Eric Desmond. Huh. You new to the country? I've been here six months. You uh, work for the oil company? Yeah, I handle any ecological problems that come up. Ecology. People use that term for everything but what it means. Who's eating who? <laughs> Mr. Desmond, why don't you get around and saying what you were going to say. You wouldn't shoot anyone, would you? I would. All this for getting a little beaver on private land? You left a footprint at the hunter's camp. Only pretty thing there, Ben, because the other two men you didn't kill and mutilate died of exposure. Yeah, I got it from here. Thanks. You sure? Nice meeting you. Well, Sam. Mr. Desmond, I'm putting through uh, orders on the federal assistance program. Snowplow, generator, TV dish. You can get the goddamn Playboy channel. Want anything? No, thanks. See Meyerly? He's a keen eyes. Well, you just remember anything you want, ask for Arthur Neff. Sam, it was self-defense. The guy drew a gun. Uh, that was all fine. Carving him up. Stranding the others. It's too fucking much, Ben. Is everything that walks, crawls, flies, or swims fair game to you? Is that it? I'll get loose before the plane comes, you know that. Check the postage on that, would you, Earl? I think it's right. Eric, I got your report on that leak. Good work. What are they saying, Fairbanks? I can't raise this issue with Fairbanks right now. This could be a real disaster. Eric, I'm on your side. It was my idea for Polar to hire an ecologist in the first place. Well, you gotta let me do my job. We can't create a panic. That pipeline is the key to America's energy self-sufficiency. You sound like a bumper sticker. <laughs> Just let me get through the election. A few weeks won't make any difference, will it? Yeah, it will. The leak's not gonna stop itself. The longer you wait, the worse it's gonna get. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'll handle it. All right. I'm looking for some trappers. Ben Corbett, Mitchell, Lamal. Seen them? Yeah, yesterday. They're going to cash. They're real thirsty. We got voted dry, so. Damn.
He's yours. Gonna make an offer. I gotta get some fresh air. Some traps to sell for you. Now they're gone. To cash. So I heard. Ben never said nothing to me about selling his gear. Well, that's why he told me, so I wouldn't have to and shot some footage for my show. Jesus, you lucky you didn't break your neck. I'm light on my feet. What is that? What? Look. Ah. <laughs> it's a trains Yeah, I can read it. <laughs> I gotta check the batteries. Yeah. Well, go ahead. I'm done. Yeah. Checked? Mm-hmm. Bye. Right. Hey. Look at a happy couple. I am happy here. But you miss L.A., don't you? Yeah, guess I've been thinking about it. I'm not looking forward to two months of darkness. I hear it can make people crazy. Yeah, well, we'll see. Mm -hmm. We got some toys to keep us busy. Yeah? Oh, I'll keep you busy. Mm. You better. <laughs> hey, wanna make some home movies? <laughs> Eric, got an emergency on my hand. Borrow that plane of yours, I'll fly him to Fairbanks before anyone else misses it. What about the chopper? It ain't coming till Monday. I could have sat tight, except the damn brother came poking around. Well, you're welcome to use it. You okay with a Cessna? Well, flying's pretty much like screwing, ain't it? Basically, it's the same movements every time. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> but it is, you know. I mean, isn't that what he does? <laughs> I'd rather walk if you don't mind. Shut up. Just shut up. All right, so we'll leave first light.
Sam? Sam? He's got a daughter in Oregon. You need some money. I got money in my bag in this place. I better call in. You thought of everything, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. That's good. Oh, shut up. Hey, Bob. Where's Ben? It's Wilder. He's taking him to Fairbanks. Damn. The Wilder will need a plane. Closest planes for hire here in cash. No plane we saw up by the Hall Road. It's a long shot. Well, you got a better idea. Watch him. I'll be right back. I met her in 86. On a dark Sunday afternoon, she shows up in cold foot. No one knows her. She marches into this bar and announces that she's available as a wife to the highest bidder. You want to see her picture? My bid was eight thousand dollars. Of course, it didn't work. I mean, when the winter was almost over, I was up north laying trap lines. She was living on her own then. She went to the market in cash on a skidoo to buy some meat, and on her way back, she got mauled by a bear. She could have lived if she got help. Sorry. Yeah. What about you? How'd you meet your mad scientist? Um, I was doing day shoots in L.A. Fashion and product, mostly. That's where I met him. He really wanted to get out of the city. He liked what I told him about Alaska, so... Here I am. You crazy about it? Yeah. <laughs> don't tell anybody what happened. I don't know who his friends are. Wait a second. Come here. Why don't you just drive into Devil's Cauldron? Let them decide what to do with him there. He'd be loose in 10 minutes. And we're witnesses. Our only chance is making sure he's locked up. Otherwise, how safe do you think we're gonna be? Well, then maybe we should leave. Let's just pack up our car and get the hell out of here. It's a three hour flight. I'll be home by dinner time. Drop me off here, I don't mind. Works on wolves. Hey!
What? Who was that? That's a kid from the oil company. Yeah. Right. Ain't he the guy from the plane? Yes. Son of a bitch! Flight plan, direct to Fairbanks, 10,000 feet, ETA license for my job, so I got one in three weeks. You're bullshitting me. No. Well, that should be interesting. See the blood? A pack of wolves took out a moose. Beautiful animals, wolves. Most people are afraid of them. But you're not, right? I used to eat, piss, and sleep on their land. I never owned anything. <laughs> I never took more than I needed. Last piece of wilderness. Have you ever been down there? One whisper can start an avalanche. It's so quiet you can hear your heartbeat. You ever hear that? No. Well, it's about time. Snap. Turn off the engine! <laughs> what are you doing? Good luck. <laughs> We're going down. <laughs> you try to kill yourself, don't include me. We're alive. This is my territory. This is nobody's territory! You won't make it off this mountain without me. Come on. Shit! Take off these handcuffs! We need to work together. Oh, yeah. 
And why don't you carry the gun, too, huh? It's getting awful heavy. Oh, yeah. Give it to me. Ah, oh, shut up. You stupid son of a bitch. <laughs> you want to know what time it is? Yeah, we must be about 40 miles south of Devil's Cauldron. North that way. You go first. No. You go first. Go on. Go! Uh, all right. I'm sorry you lost the plane. the night trying to build a fire without any wood welcome to the environment Looks like a good place to dig out a snow shelter. Uh-huh. You dig. I watch. any nightmares, huh? Go ahead. Leo, I need your help. I can hardly hear you. This lousy CB, I need your help. Eric was supposed to be back here yesterday. Where'd he go? He took the airplane and flew to Fairbanks. God 
Damn it, I told him specifically not to do anything. Listen to me. I went looking for him and I found our truck by the hangar shot full of holes. Oh my God. Might have been vandals, I don't know. Uh, you go home, I'll radio Fairbanks. Okay. I'll meet in town in a couple of hours. No. If he, if he needs help and he comes home, you gotta be there, okay? I'll come around as soon as I know anything. Okay. Good luck. that son of a bitch in the first place. Hi, I'm calling about Cessna, November 321 Zulu X-ray, due in yesterday, over. Let me talk to your supervisor, over. Arthur, just give me a minute. Stevenson! <laughs> I'm afraid I owe you an apology. <laughs> this is Eric Desmond. Over. Desmond? Desmond with the Cessna? Sorry. I had to cancel my flight plan. <laughs> Radio went out. I wasn't able to call in until just now. Over. You're about to send spotter planes. We're in for some weather. <laughs> nah, no need for that. Everyone here's fine. Again, I'm I'm really sorry. Pretty lucky so far. How's your leg? Sorry. Right. You got any money? Why? I haven't figured you out yet. You're either real brave or real dumb. Fifties <laughs> burn better than five. All I want to do is get home. I want to crawl in bed with Anne Marie and not get out to the 4th of July. I'm just saying that's the way I do it. Fuck you, Mitchell. No, fuck you, Lamal. Look, you don't know what you're talking about, this shit, all right? It just all seems to come from your lack of self esteem. You weren't breastfed, were you? Fairbanks don't know jack shit about Ben. He never made it. Uh, 
Well, don't, don't cook it. Bears can smell it from a mile away. You can eat it raw if it's fresh. Who the hell Marilyn dig you up? You know Marilyn? Sure, a people's friend. Kiss your ass with precision if there's a vote in it. <laughs> Clever move, getting you in. Looks good in the papers. Hey, I do my job. Refugee from the city. Damn shame you had to drag the woman along. You think she'll be happy cooking moose stew? I can give you five grand. Take it. Go back where you both belong. Don't insult me. Give me that. Folks come to Alaska for a real short list of reasons. Adventure. Solitude. The ice. Those cover most every one of them. Except for the guy who's always been running. When he gets to the edge of the world, there's no place to run. He's gonna have to face it down. Oh, really? Hmm. Sometimes they get lucky. Most of the time, they end up crazy. Or dead. It's not worth it. I got a cabin 20 miles west from here. Yeah? Too bad we're heading north. We got money there. Remember that five grand? I'll give you ten. Be smart. Take it. It's not an option. I just wanted to see what you would do. I better get these clothes on. You're not going to slow us down. we got to keep moving. I don't know what you get in an hour. Save yourself. Hey, stay awake. You going hypothermic? Huh? Are you? I'm all right. You got to get you warm. Right. Come on. Good now, is it good? Yeah, that's better. See? Hey! Ben, look at me, look. Mm. Huh? How many you see? What? How many? Uh, Jesus, you're freezing. You're freezing. Hey, come on. Don't you feel cold? Yeah. Uh, now, nah, don't fade out. Don't! Stay with me. Stay with me. That's it. That's it. Come on. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Well, yeah. This month doesn't mean we're going steady, okay? <laughs> well, it's about time.
job with the oil company. Somebody left in a big hurry. Sam Wilder. This is getting strange. My guess is Ben's got loose. Yeah, probably went to cash. It is the closest town without a law, man. my transmitter. What? My bag. Where's my bag? You left all your gear back at Wilder's. Oh, yeah. How you feel? I'm hungry. Go kill me some dinner. Used to see the natives eat these roots when I was a kid in Nome. You from Nome? How come you're not a whaler? Men in my family were trappers as far back as I know. Mailed the first to Sears. Eight bucks a skunk, three bucks a muskrat. Those were good times. Killing wildlife's not good enough anymore. So you go on to bigger and better things, huh? You're a joke. Coming from a fucked up city, telling me what to do. Yeah, it is fucked up. That's why I left. It's not too late to keep that from happening here. Environmental city crap. You don't know shit. I'm the environment. You live like an animal here. Savage goddamn throwback. You disapprove? OK. Tell me what I should do. I shouldn't hunt. I'll just phone up and order a salad. Huh? Is that it? Don't push me. <laughs> I'm in handcuffs. And I still scared the piss out of you, chicken shit. Come on, open the pub. Come on. <laughs> Save my ass or kill me. Make up your damn mind. <laughs>
We'll wait here until it gets dark. My wife used to go to church every Sunday. All done up, pretty. See your friends and chat. I was way too much. Should have been with her. Should be getting dressed right about now. <laughs> you saved my ass, okay? But my boys don't know that. They're waiting for you down there. I'm not afraid of that. It's not it. Here's interesting. Don't you think? The way it ties you up inside and makes you cold? I still have a knot in my stomach every season because I don't know how long I can go on. No home for old trappers that I ever saw. <laughs> when we're too old to be useful, we're left on the ice. That doesn't bother me that much. The thought of going to prison really scares me. Desmond, don't mind me saying so, you look like hell. You want to come in? Neff, I got Ben Corbett with me. Here? Yeah. Where in the hell is Wilder? I don't know. Corbett's men find out. I'm going to put him on that chopper that goes to Fairbanks tomorrow. Jiminy Christmas, I... Look, Corbett ruined my two-way. Could you go out to my place on the Hall Road and just tell Anne-Marie that I'm okay and sit tight? Yeah, sure. I'll, uh, I'll do it as soon as I get ready. Okay, thanks. And don't tell anybody that you saw me, okay? Don't worry, Mr. Desmond. I'll take care of everything. Bet I could make some money turning Corbett in. Maybe more, letting him loose. You're out of your greedy damn mind. Corbett coming here stinks of trouble. We should make the best of it before it turns around and bites us in the ass. Just stay out of it. Talk to your girl yet? You broke the radio, remember? She sure as hell is good looking. When I was out in the Yukon, I knew this guy. Froze his fingers. He hacked off the tips, sharpened the bones, and he's really doing well now. He's working in the library. I liked you better when you were frozen. You didn't talk so much. He saw you and Corbett come in and... That leg looks real bad. Should have Dixie have a look at it. She's at the infirmary. Yeah, maybe I should. It's all right. He just wants to talk to Corbett about buying his traps. Yeah. Well, you can talk to him. I'll keep the key. We don't want any trouble, Ben. The kid's got the key, and he's just edging up to use that gun he's carrying. 
Any traps you got, we'll give you cash money for. I don't need my traps. You can have them. I'd like to have my bag. It's in the bottom on the left. Oh, Jesus, Earl, I don't think you should. You know? God damn. Just. You see? You happy now? I washed her back for you. What? Darling Dixie. Would you give us a minute? Talented girl. Arthur said you were in town. When'd you get here? Tonight. There's uh, something I need your help with. Hey, Bob. You think I got a problem? What? You know, like, uh, like a self-esteem problem. Huh? Well, uh, you do sort of depend on that gun of yours a lot. You know, like it's a security blanket or something. Fuck you, Bob. Ah, God, Eric. I hate getting involved in local disputes. <laughs> Policy's made here the same way it is a civilized world, the ballot box. That's the beauty of it. <laughs> God, these icebox cowboys. Huh. They're living a century too late. But you gotta keep them on your side. It's like buying Manhattan for beads. You know something, Eric? We control the greatest treasury of natural resources since the white man stumbled onto the new world. Does that mean you're gonna help or not? I'm your friend, Eric. Northwest. Devil's Cauldron. If you run it away, you can bank on it. Kena. Yeah. I need to rent a cabin. It's a matter of Sam Wilder's place. Will you rent me a cabin or not? Pretty clever. You figure you're better off waiting on that chopper where you have a clear view of that landing pad. Besides, those trappers come looking for Corbett. Sam's the first place they'll look. I can't afford that trouble. I've got a hundred and some change here. Okay. Kenai, if you back me up. Forget it. Just don't bleed on my throw rugs. Why do this? Why not get while you can? A lot of places to go. Thank you. Good night, Arthur. Good night. Banks and they said you canceled your flight plan. No, that's impossible. I didn't. The plane went down. What? Look, Anne Marie, you can't stay here. Why not? I'll tell you everything later. Where's Corbin? Here. There's a chopper coming. Once I get him on, and it's all over. So what's wrong? Nothing. As long as Corbin's men don't get here before the chopper does. Eric, let them deal with it here. It's their marshals that Corbin killed. Anne Marie. I'm staying. Okay. Take the truck over to Wilder's and I'll meet you there. Mm -hmm. 
Hey. I was, uh, on my way to your lady friend's house, but I guess she found you. Yeah, I just saw her. Neff, I could really use that favor you offered a while back. Geez, I'm sorry, Mr. Desmond. I never thought I'd get this ugly. What are you talking about? Them bastards kill Sam. You don't think they're gonna kill the rest of us? There's three of them. Maybe four of these guys at the most. Come on, Neff. If I could just get a little help, there's nothing they can do. I'm sorry. Chances are you'll be gone from this country, but I gotta live here. Nobody wants to mix it up with them boys. You don't care enough about Sam? To... Sam Waller was my cousin. There's a reason I came to Alaska. Me and that dad ain't gonna do Sam a lick of good. Told you no one would help. We're moving. Talk some sense into him. Hey, I'd hate to see you get hurt. Ben's bag! Quarter to six. Shoot, I will. You shoot me. You're signing your death warrant. And ours. Hear me, Ben! Stop. Do this my way. Who's ever holding Ben Corbett? Listen to me! Hey, you know, we're in here, and if I don't say something, the plow is down under. Are you ready to accept that responsibility? You hear me, you crack!
doing? Eric, meet me at the mine entrance in ten minutes. Devil's Cauldron. Come in. Oh my God. Ch Chopper to Devil's Cauldron. Can you hear me? No, listen. We need you to land on top of the copper mill. There's a big clearing up there. Repeat, do not land on the pad behind town. Look, there's no weather here right now. There's no wind. There's nothing. Over. Okay. If it stays that way, see up top. 747 out. Oh, God. You and me are gonna go get Ben Corbett now. I don't know what you're talking about. Put that down. I'll shoot you. Oh, go ahead, sweetheart. But you better take me down in one shot. Because if you don't, I'll rip your fucking lungs out. Come on. He was a lousy tipple. the mill. They, they got a chopper up there. Hey! Hey! Come here! Watch him. Hurry. Yeah. What are you doing? This way. something he's not very bright yeah you tell him i'll shoot you if they rush us bob i got a guy with a magnum up my nose and i'm getting nervous you in one piece yeah i'm fine i'll see you later down on it
had some good seasons, didn't we? Fifteen years on the trail with this man. <laughs> he never hurt anyone. <laughs> How does it feel? that chopper leave. I've just touched down in Devil's Cauldron, and there's nobody here, so I am out of here. You can't leave. You gotta be kidding. These men asked me to take charge. It's okay. I'll take care of him. Yeah, with a bullet in my back. That's not a bad idea. Save the taxpayers some money. We're putting them on that chopper, right? Yeah. We'll put him on the chopper. Hey, Eric, I really appreciate all you've done. You know, when you were missing, I was worried sick about you. I was on the phone to Fairbanks demanding a search party. Really? Anne Marie said somebody called to cancel my flight plan. I was calling the state police. That ain't true. You phoned the airport, he said he was you. Shut up, Arthur. You didn't want me telling anybody about the pipeline damage. Damn it. You wanted me lost. Go, boy! Eric. Ah. Ah. Let's get out of here. No! Ah. Ah. Eric. Get you to a hospital when we get to Fairbanks. Oh, yeah, great. So they can patch me up and put me in a cage? <laughs> you don't get it, do you? Put it down.
You're gonna be all right. I don't know. But this is where he belongs. I'll take you back to L.A. if you want. Take you home.